students welcome to genie projects world hope you all are doing great um, it's been quite a long time so we are meeting up here with a nice project again so really happy to be here so today we are going to see a web based application project so it's also a php based project only so the project name was smart online payroll management system um so this project uh, idea is like uh, we are going to build a web based uh, payroll uh, management system for the organization so it will uh, it will it will have the inbuilt human resource uh, management system also um so the final output like uh, will be like this so this is the admin dashboard so here uh, in left hand side corner we will have all the navigational panels so there will be the options like a dashboard and the organization and the employee section attendance leave project loan assets payroll notice management and finally we have the settings section also here and in the main dashboard we will have the total number of employees who are working the uh, particular organization and the total number of uh, leave applications that the admin has received and the uh, number of projects which the organization is currently working on and uh, the people who are uh, taken loan from the organization those information and all uh, we can see from this dashboard so uh, also in here we can see how many number of employees who are all opt out from that organization like uh, who are all left the company previously so we can uh, see their counts also like uh, number of ex employees and uh, here we will see the new new applications and the upcoming projects and the new loan application those information are not all you can see here and if we scroll down below here we will have the notice board section so this will be only accessible for the admin so admin only can post the notice and that particular notice or announcement it will be circulated to all the employees who are working in the organization so they can able to view and be aware of the organization whatever the new things or the particular announcement made by the management and in right hand side uh, we will have the to do list so it will be uh, for every every employees it will be accessible so even admin can have this access and uh, even the employees will also have this to do list access so they can create their own to do and uh, can make utilize of it and if we scroll down below there will be a section like uh, ongoing projects so this is like the uh, currently which are the projects which are ongoing carried out by the organization this will be listed right here um, we will have the project name and start date and end date will be here and in right hand side there will be a holiday section so these holidays what representing means and uh, in the particular financial year what are all the uh, holidays which that organization made us the fixed holiday or floating holiday those information will be um, available in this holiday section so this is the dashboard a day dashboard for the admin so once we have uh, set up all the once we have completed all the installation steps and uh, have configured the database part so our output will be like this only so after set up we will go through this uh, each and every features and uh, cover each all topics so let us begin with the installation step now so first uh, go through the link uh, which we have provided in our description so first download the source code from the official website so once you have downloaded the um, zip file it will be ready to extract and uh, can be moved to that uh, htdocs folder so i have kept it here i'm going to extract the file so right click it and just use the extract here option so it will take a minute or two so to extract it let it be complete once completed so we have to move this extracted file into our exam local server folder just need to copy this payroll folder just click on the control c and go to the exam directory so wherever we have wherever you have installed your exam so you have to go to there in my case i have installed it in my local disk c drive so i'm just going there in that you have the folder named hdocs 
to just go there and paste this payroll folder inside of it so in my system i had already done it so you can see the payroll folder inside the st dos folder so as of now we have moved all the website related files into the st dos folder so website part we have completed next step is to like the set up the database for the application okay so we need to start the two important services from the exam so for that uh, for this project we are going to use the php version 7.4 so make sure you also use the compatible version to run the project so once you had uh, installed the uh, exam server we just need to start the apache and mysql servers just go to your start button and uh, scroll down here we will see the exam and uh, just right click on the control panel more option and just run as administrator so it will look like this once the control panel open you will see these options only so here we need to select apache and mysql we have to start these two servers only so i'm starting it so once started make sure in the logs it is in running status and also you can see the port which has been assigned to this particular services if you see this both we are good to proceed further so the next step will be like we have to open the php web server page for that just need to click this admin button whichever is nearby to this mysql module so i'm just clicking it so in your default web browser it will open a new page for the php web admin so let it be okay once opened you can see the panel like this so here in top side you can see the php my admin web page and in the right hand side you can see all the details related to database server which are the version we have been using it so we are using the web server apache and the php 7.4.3 we are currently using so here left hand side we will have the option like a new here only we use this option to create the new database for our web application just click new and in the database name you have to give like a payroll hyphen db so this is the name which we have given in our project so it is better i will suggest that suggest to use the same name you can also uh, create your own database name but the one thing here is like you have to make changes in the coding also so then only the application will work without any errors so in our case we will uh, take it as the same only payroll hyphen db and remaining at all same options only just click create so once you click to create uh, in the left hand side panel you will see the new database has been created with the name you have given once it's created just click on it so once you have opened the database you will see no tables in my case i have already extracted it so it showing lot of tables inside it uh, but for you it will show the empty table only for that only we are going to use that sql file which we have provided in our source code so for that we need to use the import option just click import and here it will ask for the file name so here we have to select the file sql file which we have provided in the project so just go back to the hd docs and here our project name is like payroll open sql file folder and choose this payroll hyphen db dot sql file just click open so here it will show the file name it has been correctly selected and just scroll down so here we will have the option like import for some of the system or older system it will have the option like go and for uh, um, for the newer versions it will show like import so both is fine just click the import button it will take uh, up to one or two minutes let it be to complete it so once completed you too also can able to view all the tables listed here in the left hand side panel we have completed uh, website part and the database part so if you have stuck any errors please reach out to our technical team in the comment section or uh, instagram page so once you are good to proceed further we can see the demo part now one by one so just 
I'm opening a browser, opening a new tab. For accessing our web application, we have to use localhost slash so the folder name that we are using so payroll slash index.php so this this was the home page to our web application so this will be the login page here it will ask for the username and password for admin so for the credentials we have provided it with the document a project document and also in the project summary so just check it out so i'm giving the credentials here so we are going to log in with the admin credentials so we will cover the admin topics first then we will go to the employee section so i have logged in now so as we all already seen this, will, this was the admin dashboard here in top left corner we will see the logo of the site so this was our uh, payroll management system official logo site so we can modify this one and in right side corner you will see the admin pro, uh, profile here we will have, have the options like my profile and account settings and the logout these options will be available here if we don't want to see this left hand side panel we can use this um, hamburger symbol so it will hide it out and we will uh, have this icons listed here if we want to expand it back we have to again click on this option so first the option we have here is like dashboard so this is the open page of this admin panel so if we click this we will get this dashboard page so here we can see multiple uh, multiple information related to that organization like uh, number of employees working here and leaves they have been availed and the projects they have been worked and uh, who are uh, loans uh, availed for, from the organization and ex employees new applications newly created upcoming projects and uh, who are newly uh, applied for the loan so those information we can see here and this notice board uh, we can uh, only admin can add the notice so we will cover it up later in the to do list we can add the to do so i will just add uh, for example one so i am just giving like automating monitoring task this was my to do list for this new year so i am just adding it here so once you added the name here and you have to click this plus icon here you will get the acknowledgement like it has been successfully added so the page will automatically get refreshed up and uh, you will see the new list updated here so once you have completed it you just can uh, mark it as complete so it will have the tick mark in front of it if you want to open it again you can uh, deselect it it will be automatically refreshed and updated so the next section will be like organization in the organization we will have the drop down menu like uh, department and designation in department uh, we can add uh, whatever the departments available in the organization for example if we take uh, it it companies there will be lot of departments like uh, there will be a operations department there will be a development department and there will be a sales related there will be accounts related and there will be a customers related like that uh, there will be lot of departments so whatever uh, we have in our organization we can list it out here in our system we have added like admin research development sales operation qa team uh, learning ld team human resource team customer support security so we have lot of teams here in that you have if you want to edit anything you can just click this pencil icon or else want to remove memes you can use this delete icon or else if you sometimes you want to create a new uh, new department for your own purpose so each company have that uh, own set of uh, requirements so we can uh, add a new department based upon our own requirement so we can give the department name here and just click the save button here that uh, our department will be newly added here so i'm just going to add it here so let it be like a automation team i'm just going to add it here just click case save 
So we get the confirmation like successfully added. So the page will get refreshed and uh, we can see the newly added department here. See here. So like that we can add uh, a number of department based upon our requirements. So next section like designation. This also like uh, it's the uh, based upon every organization there will be a separate uh, individual role names. The role names will be vary upon uh, different companies. Um, so some companies will use some role names and uh, another one will use another name. So this will also be like a uh, preference based. Um, so for that uh, for common use we have included uh, whatever the uh, rules which are commonly applicable for most of the organization we have listed here like uh, CEO, CEO, CFO, those roles we have added President, Vice President, um, Trainee, Architect and Technical Lead, Testing and Human Resource like that we have added a multiple uh, designations here. If you want to newly add any designation you can very well go and uh, you hear the designation name and click the save button the designation will be added here and uh, new employees can be assigned to the roles so this was the organization section we have covered that now the next section is like employees under employees we will have uh, so three categories one is like all employees and uh, next section is like disciplinary employee and uh, last one is like inactive employee under all employees we can see overall the total number of employees uh, working under that particular organization we can see the complete list so here uh, it will have the list like employee name and their e code and uh, email address and contact and whatever the role they have been having admin or employee no role uh, if you want to edit any employees the admin only have that access so for normal users they won't have any access to uh, edit or view other profiles for admin they can able to edit or uh, uh, change or modify or save uh, for other employees also so they will have the most privileges in this system so if suppose i want to view this employee i can choose this pencil icon and uh, go inside of that uh, to view that uh, profile information of that particular employee So this is like the employees profile information so here we can see the personal info what are they having like the employee code, first name, last name, blood group so what are the basic informations available here we can very well see here email address, phone, everything will be shown here and their profile picture also shown in the left hand side corner and we will have several tabs here like each tab will have the uh, separate personal information and uh, the employees all information like education, address, experience, bank account every information we can uh, see here and manage from here itself so salary information also will be available here so from using this only we will uh, going to the um, going to calculate a payroll for each employees and uh, process the uh, payments uh, based upon monthly or uh, weekly based we can also from, do it from here leave and social media change password every essential options we have included here so the next section is like a disciplinary employee so as you all know disciplinary in the sense it's like uh, the particular employee who have violated that uh, organization policies or rules so those employees only we will mention like a disciplinary employee so if someone has violated such policies in the organization um, in some some organization what they will do now they can uh, uh, suspend that particular employee for a particular number of days to um, to not to work from the organization or in some organization they will uh, permanently uh, fire out that employee so those employees details also we can manage it from here for audit purpose so if we want to add a new employee information we can just go and click this add disciplinary button here we can see who are all the employees available here we can select it from there in the drop down menu and uh, what action we have given so for some crimes there will be a verbal warning will be given like uh, don't do this again or uh, whatever the preactive measures that you are going to take or uh, in some organization they will ask for the apology letter also so those and all like a verbal warning Writing warning means they will give the suspend order or permanently fire out order. They will just give it out the uh, type it in the printout and they will give it in the handy. 
So other option is like demotion. Demotion means uh, they will be uh, lowered to the lower level. It's like a demoted to the lower level. And suspension, as you already know, like uh, making them unavailable to work for uh, some days, like some months or some years. Termination is like uh, permanently leaving the employee out of that organization. So these are all the options we have here. So we can select any one option and we can uh, choose their designation and uh, finally we can give the details here and uh, can give the submit button so once we have given submit that particular employee will have the disciplinary notice and it will be added to here in the database and next section will be like inactive employee inactive employee is like uh, who are all employees uh, who may be uh, work right here and uh, recently have left out for any reason so Today one employee may come and uh, work for some time and uh, tomorrow they may leave so for there also we can track it from here. So for audit purpose we can track all the employee details here those are all left, those are all coming newly and those are all leaving the company so every details we can just track it from here. If you want to add a new employee detail just go here and click the add employee button. It will ask for that uh, employee details and all here. So once we have provided all the details, just give, save and that employee will be added to it. So in this section, uh, we can see who are all the employees currently inactive in the organization. So we can uh, make the new uh, overall, the overall left the company, we can just make that employee to the inactive state, I will show it up here. So we can just go to that employee profile and uh, under that there will be a status option. So we just need to change it as like inactive. So once we have clicked inactive and saved it, so that particular employee profile will be saved as like inactive employee. So if again some that some employee return back to that company means uh, we want to enable now just go to and uh, activate it again. So we can uh, make that also. So employee section we have covered. So the next section is like attendant. So this was the most important one. So for each each and every organization. The attendance percentage only plays a vital role in the performance and growth, both for the individual employees and also for the team. So, in every IT or every big organization, a lot of a lot of teams team also only make the big success and achievement. So, for each employees, their contribution is invaluable to the growth of growth and success of the particular organization. For that, uh, we have to keep track of that uh, employee's progress and uh, progress and uh, how much they are uh, putting their efforts and how much they are working. So those and all we have to track it. For that, only attendance plays a vital role. But with the traditional model system, it, it will be very difficult for every admin or every manager to make their employee to uh, monitor and uh, track uh, by the paper. Uh, so it will be very difficult so we may miss that information so if you want to refer a long time back uh, uh, performance related uh, performance related information about that particular employee it will be very difficult and challenging because uh, to refer the paper related documents uh, it may be uh, it will have lot of human errors or uh, some information may be misinterpreted and uh, it may if, if it's not kept properly it will be difficult to analyze and uh, it, it's not will be a good to get the proper uh, insight from it so only we have uh, included and uh, so this inbuilt uh, mechanism it will support all the administrators to track their uh, track their all the employees and the individuals who are working in the particular uh, team or project uh, for the organization so they can track their status and uh, whatever the um, whatever the attendance percentage they have been uh, meeting like uh, each employees or each team they will have this uh, certain uh, deadlines or certain uh, percentage to keep track of so they can monitor from here so in this uh, admin uh, in this attendance section we will have that uh, employee name e code date and signing sign out time and working hours everything will be kept track of here 
So this is like uh, uh, whenever the employee comes to the organization, the admin can very well go and add the attendance here, just like uh, click add attendance. So once uh, we click the add attendance, it will ask for the employee. So we can select the employee name and uh, whichever date they are working in, uh, comes to work. So I'm just selecting. So sign in time, so we can take it up like 5. Sign out time it will ask. So most of the organization will have 8 to 9 hours of standard work. So we can uh, make it up like uh, 2 o'clock. And lastly, we will have option like uh, office or field work. Field work is like uh, onshore work. We are straight away going to that client place and supporting the operation or supporting that uh, particular uh, project. In our case, we can select it as like uh, office and just click submit. So it will be successfully added and that attendance will be marked for that particular employee. So if you don't want to go individually and uh, want to do it for bulkly, you can also use that bulk attendance option. So I will go there. So here you will have the option like uh, bulk attendance. You can uh, keep track of all the employees in the Excel sheet and uh, just uh, use this CSV file option to upload all the employees names and add, add all the attendance through this uh, bulk attendance option. And this this is like attendance report. We can uh, get that report also from here. So in this report, we can select the from and to date. So I'm selecting uh, last August to to date. I'm selecting current date. Employee, we can select. Uh, I'm selecting this employee and submit it. So it will show the details here, the particular employee Madhavan who worked uh, which days he have been come to that uh, office or which which time they have come in, in time and out time, everything will be marked here and how many hours of work he has worked. So those information and all it will be updated here. It will show like uh, how many hours he has totally worked. Also we can see from here. This is the attendance section and if you want to take this attendance list as like an excel file or a pdf file you can just use this above option. So here we will have multiple options like csv, excel or pdf or you can even uh, print it out and take it up like a paper. So if you click csv it will just download it here like in the csv format. csv is nothing but the comma separated so each values it will have the comma. So you can uh, use this CSV files for uh, operating with the excel file. Next you can uh, download it with the excel file also. So see here it will download with the excel file. And in pdf also you can use it up here. I am just opening it. So like this uh, you can get the entire list attendance report uh, within a single click from this system. So there will be no manual works involved. Just within a single click you can get the entire attendance report for a particular month or anything you can get it within a fraction of a second. So attendance sections we have covered. Next is like a leave section. Leave we have the options like holidays, leave type and leave application, earned leave and leave report. So holidays uh, as like I already told for a particular financial or fiscal year uh, we will have standard holidays. Like uh, for India, we will have the national holiday like uh, August 15 or uh, Republic Day, Jan 26. This will be called as a national holiday. So every organization must public to government to provide that uh, days as a national holiday to every employees. They can't. They should mandatory give leave to employees. Even who are working on that day, they have to give the special compensation. Like that, uh, there will be a fixed holidays, floating holidays, regional holidays. Like that, there will be a lot of holidays there. So we can add it up here, what are the holidays that the particular organization is providing for the employees to avail for compensation or uh, um, what to say, uh, particular shift allowance. Like that, we can add it up here. 
if you want to edit you can use this pencil icon or uh, if you want to remove now um, as well you can use this delete icon you can use uh, this above options to take the entire list in csv or anything like we seen before and if you want to add a new holiday you can just add it up here just click this plus icon and uh, give the holiday name and start it in this why start it in it means in some cases some holiday will be celebrated for uh, three days like our tamil pongal holiday will be celebrated for four days right so for that uh, particular scenario we will can use this start date or end date or else if that particular holiday is a single day means we can use the same start date and same end date there will be no issues and it will be added successfully then next is like a leave type leave type i already said uh, like uh, in most of organization they will uh, segregate that leave types so, so like the sick leave casual leave maternity leave paternity leave and leave and uh, so like that uh, each organization will have the unique kind of uh, leave types so like that uh, we can add our own uh, own leave types based upon our preferences you can easily go and add it your leave type from here just give the plus icon and uh, give leave name and day uh, so which uh, how many number of days you want to give uh, to the employees to avail number of days we have to give here and the status active or inactive we can add it up here so once we have provided all details that particular new leave type will be added here the next section is like a leave application in leave application we can see who are all the employees who have applied for the leave so currently there is no uh, leave application for the admin so if any employee have been applied for leave uh, the admin will get notified here and it will show in this dashboard so which employee and uh, uh, asked for which date leave and uh, uh, leave status and all we can see here and uh, under action the employee can take up the action whether to accept the leave or reject it like that we can take the action um, and the admin also can uh, go and uh, Uh, apply for the leave in behalf of any employee if that employee is unable to uh, ask for leave or they undergo any serious uh, sick or injury they can the ma uh, particular manager can go and apply for that employee and approve it so that uh, we can uh, easily go here under leave type we can select it so first we need to select the employee so i'm just selecting it here and leave type we can select so casual leave so if you want to check uh, how many days remaining out of this casual leave whichever assigned for that particular employee we can just use this fetch total leave so it will show up uh, so this organization we are using 12 casual holidays so this employee still have 12 days out of 12 days so this means that particular employee still didn't have any casual leaves before so he has 12 days left balance and uh, so this leave duration is like if you want to take any particular hours like a 2 hour or 1 hour leave so that also applicable or if you want to take full day leave it will be chosen like full day or above day means more than one day if you want to take more than one day's leave so we can use this option above day and how to select the from date and due date and the reason for our leave so we have to provide just like our normal procedure from day to day and the leave reason these and all we have to provide and we have to submit it so once submitted that uh, particular uh, uh, what to say leave application will be seen through this admin panel so i'm just uh, applying for this apply for uh, just for the demo purpose so i am selecting about day and from date i'm selecting uh, tomorrow okay so end date i'm just giving like a uh, 10th so from 8 to 10 i'm taking leave we have applied for the leave here uh, the admin can able to see that uh, leave application here so here that status will be shown like not approved because the admin has still didn't taken any action here we will have the option like approved or rejected once we selected approved it will change to approved and that particular employee will have the status like approved 
if we rejected that uh, status will change to rejected i am just going approved so it will be updated successfully and it will go out of this particular uh, dashboard panel and the employee will get the status as like uh, the leave was approved okay so the next section is like earned leave earned leave is nothing but if the particular employee didn't taken any casual or any sick leave certain amount of leave will be added to the next year leave balance so many uh, leading organization will use this practice like uh, if the employee didn't avail much leave they will provide some compensation in some some organization they will add that previous year holidays to the next year holiday as a leave balance um, so for uh, in our system also we have as uh, we have incorporated this earned leave section so here we here the admin can assign that uh, whichever the employees who have the uh, earned lot of leaves from the previous year they can assign that earned leave to the next year leave balance so here we are seeing the employee name and total number of earned leaves they have earned from the previous year and next section is like a report in the report section we can, we have the option like month and uh, employee so i'm just selecting last year okay i've selected uh, for demo purpose this employee so we are getting the leave report here in uh, november 11th the employee surya has availed this much of leave so he has utilized the earned leave and the duration 8 hours he had took so it's like a one day leave he has took if you want to take this leave report as a pdf we can just use this pdf or print option anything we can go and take this up like a uh, report so leave section has been covered the next one is like a project project is like a uh, uh, managing so the each organization will have a lot of individual team and each team will have their separate own kind of projects or uh, um, own kind of applications to support right so we can manage everything from here under all project it will show what are the projects that the company has been worked or currently working on those details are done we can get it up here the project title status start date end date everything will be shown here if you want to edit we can use this pencil icon so we can uh, go and edit uh, what are the project details so this will be the project overview so how much it has been completed project title start date date project summary and the details how much uh, initial uh, budget like that uh, we have a lot of details that we can add it up here and status it's like uh, is it upcoming or completed ongoing like that those details are all we can uh, just update here project task what are the tasks currently available and uh, what are the office tasks project related files and project related documents and how much the project really requires like the requirement cost um, the logistic cost what are the costs that uh, it will require everything it will be um, under the expense we can add it up here for tracking logistics comes under like uh, what are the travel purpose the product may need like uh, car support or uh, a travel support that uh, that it may need to provide for the each employees and that it will come under the logistic support then the next is like a task list task list is nothing but uh, each project uh, will have a certain number of tasks okay so that uh, each task uh, may be assigned to a certain team members or a certain uh, employee okay so the it will be very challenging to track uh, um, through the traditional way for admin to chase it out for each employee how much they have been working or how much uh, who are all uh, assigned so in the dashboard panel the admin can easily see who are the assigned employee for the particular task and uh, they will have the start date and deadline end date for but, um, so that everything will be shown here in your fingertips so it, all information and insights will be easily accessible for the admin so here you can see like a project title under project title it will have the lot of tasks so each task will have a start date and end date and assign the employees list also be shown here if you want to take the uh, it is like a report we can use these above options if you want to add a new task we can go this new uh, task option and then we can select the project available project date and date and the manager name we can select 
and the collaborators means uh, just like a team members who are the members we can select it here task name we can give here start date end date details or uh, status whether it's a completed one ongoing one or cancelled and the type like uh, is it like an office related task or uh, like uh, on site which means like uh, we are straight away going to that client and uh, providing or uh, doing that particular work whichever it will be comes under the on site work so we can select it up and every details once we filled up we can just give the submit button so that the task will be added up here in the dashboard panel so this is like a project list so all projects will be shown here which we have seen previously so field visit is uh, nothing uh, as like i already told like uh, who are the employees uh, who have availed the option to work uh, like on shore or uh, like in the client location instead of office office or branch location that the particular employees will straight away go to that employee location instead of working in the office or the on premise that uh, that particular employee may go to straight away to the client location and uh, serve that uh, so that support or provide the support from there itself so it will comes under the field visit uh, certain field visit uh, it will be assigned for certain employees so the details and all we can uh, see from this dashboard itself so how many days they have been assigned at uh, which location they have been assigned for that the field visit everything will be and here and uh, if anyone applied for a field visit uh, the admin can approve or reject it from here and uh, admin can update the attendance also So this is the project section. Next one is like a loan section. Loan we have loan approvals and loan installments. So under loan approvals, uh, so the employee will have the option like uh, they can get the education loan or family loan or emergency loan. So some employees may require emergency emergency or money for their uh, requirements. So they may avail the loans from the organization where they work. So to keep track of that loan assets. Um, we have in inbuilt loan approval system. So here that the employee may ask for a loan approval from that uh, for reporting manager. That reporting manager will receive this uh, notification from the uh, employee over uh, applying for the loan. So once it has been changed to granted status by that reporting manager, that employee will get the loan loan sanctioned and uh, in. Um, each salary there will be a loan will be deducted certain amount it will be deducted that will come under the loan installment section so if you want the admin also can apply for the loan on behalf of the employee so it is add loan so select whatever it can select the employee name here and amount approved date install period how much how many um, installments that employee want to repay that amount loan number it will be automatically generated and status so granted or denied loan details so why they, the particular employees are having so those uh, loan details are done we can fill it up here and uh, admin can straight away uh, apply for the loan on behalf of that certain employee so this is the loan approval section and loan installment you can see the list of employees who, who are paying that uh, loan installment repay to uh, to pay that uh, loan amount so here you can see that uh, on which month uh, they are uh, the receiver name and approved date install amount. So this will be like, uh, if, uh, for example, to say this uh, this employee E5008 has been uh, get a loan of thirty thousand from that organization. So this certain amount of install amount will be deducted from their salary and it will be automatically deducted upon each month. So till the uh, entire amount will be repaid uh, to that organization. So these are all automated process. So the employee has nothing to do. So it will be very simple to keep track from here uh, how much amount is still left to pay and install about everything that we can very well go and see from here itself. So we have covered it up and next section is like assets. So assets is like uh, so the company will provide uh, like uh, if if the particular employee works from the home they the com then the company may provide like uh, internet uh, facility or broadband facility wi-fi setup um, mouse keyboard and what to say ups facility so they may uh, provide some access to the employee to support for the shift roles 
for that uh, we may need to have the separate application to keep track of uh, whatever the assets, assets are provided for each employee right so to make easy this workflow so we have incorporated this assets management also so our application can be able to keep track of assets also for each employee who are in the utilizing the office assets under assets category we will have a lot of assets like uh, as i previously told laptop computer headphones office card mouse keyboard modem laptop bag access card employee these all will come under the assets so if the employee leaving the company they have to return back these all assets to the organization they have to resubmit it back so for that purpose only we are keep tracking this all items under this dashboard so the admin and or the reporting manager can very well see what are the assets that, are, that particular employee currently using and from the office next is like assets list this assets list it will show uh, it's like a stock management um, so for each company they will have the warehouse how many number of uh, headphones or computers they have like a stock management so in our case we can see like uh, headphones it will uh, which brand model code number and uh, how many uh, number of stock it is currently available in the stock we can see every information from here so at the same time we can see the assets uh, which are available by each employees and also number of stocks which are available in the warehouse both we can see from the system itself and next is like logistic support logistic support as i have already explained it's like a movement of uh, goods or services so in our case for it related uh, organization they will say like um, logistic is like a transportation facility that we are uh, providing for each employee so some may use office cars and uh, some may use office related cab facility to uh, to come to office and to return back to home so they these details are we can add it up here so we can add the task name so which purpose they are using that uh, particular asset of the company and uh, other assets also we can track it from here so which are uh, which employee is been currently using that uh, asset so how much quantity they been using everything it will be shown here So next we comes to another important uh, topic that is nothing but a payroll system. As like I already said, uh, the payroll is the main motive of our uh, project. So it is like uh, generating the payroll slips for each employees by manual way. It is a massive work to do for each admin. It will take lot of time and it may cause human errors also. To eliminate these manual works and errors, we have incorporated our payroll management system also in a smart and and uh, automated way. Here, if you once uh, uh, once the employee is onboarded into that system and added to it, it will automatically automatically generate that uh, um, particular employee's salary and also a payslip uh, just in a click, single mouse click, we can generate a basically for the employee based upon uh, whatever the uh, salary and the basic salary we have been configured when the particular employee has been onboarded into the new system so here you can see who are the employees uh, uh, their salary has been already paid like that uh, employee name it will be shown here which month the salary if they availed any loan it will show like a loan deduction amount also here and total number of work hours they have been worked and how much other deduction they have had in their salary that will be shown and uh, what is the gross salary uh, which means like in hand salary how much they have been paid in hand that will be shown and the pay date and pay status everything will be shown if you want to take this up like a uh, uh, pay slip you can just go this print option it will uh, take it up to the new screen and uh, here you can see the invoice this one you can print it up and uh, that, uh, that particular employee also can print it out this invoice so here it will have all the details employee code and everything it will be shown here basic salary and medical allowance house hra and conveyance allowance bonus everything will be shown if employee has any loan amount it also will be deducted here it will come under the deduction section working hours and the tax so for tax purpose we have deducted thousand rupees so apart from that uh, everything will be paid as a net pay so this is the pay
payroll so if you want to generate new uh, salary slip for any employee we have to go this generate pay slip and we have to choose the department we have to select the month that we are going to pay and submit so here it will show the employee just we can select this generate salary so it will uh, predefinedly uh, show all the templates so the employee name month um, so salary details and all it will fetch from the database all the details it will be fetched automatically so we nothing to do here and we just have to input the particular reporting manager how to input how many hours that particular employee has been worked so these details and all we can get from the attendance report which we have previously covered so um, for example i'm just dealing 190 hours uh, so final salary it will be automatically um, so automatically calculated based upon the number of hours that particular employee worked based upon the admin input so pay date i'm just giving like uh, 31 it's paid and uh, bank deposit so these details i have given and just use submit so it's successfully added and uh, if we go back and again if we see that report uh, that employee payslip will be generated and uh, the employee can also be able to see that uh, payslip report so this the last section is like payslip report so i'm selecting Madan k and month jam submit so this is the payslip report which we have just now created so all the salary details and deductions everything it will be shown here we will have the logo here and we will have the organization address here and whatever the month we have paid for that will be displayed here employee related information all it will be included here and the amount of earnings and deduction all will be available here to print out this payslip report we can just give this print option and we can save this report as the PDF also. So this is the payroll section we have covered it, and the next section is like notice. So this one, uh, as like I already told, the admin only have the access to the uh, adding the new notices or a new information or new announcement to the uh, available employees. So once the new notice has been added to the system, every employee is able to view that announcement. So if you want to add a new notice, just give this add notice button and give the notice title. What are the documents that you have want to provide either PPT or uh, something, any word, document, PDF, anything you can just add it up here. And which date you want to publish that you have to give. Once given every details, just give the submit button. So the particular notice will be available here in this dashboard panel. So this is a notice board section and the last but not least it is like a settings so this settings is for like uh, this web applications so if you want to change any details uh, like uh, this site logo which we have in the left hand side corner if you want to customize it you can go and uh, very well update it here from the site logo but you have to make sure it is in the same size then only it will be look like this or else it may uh, look like a misaligned so make sure it and site title you can update from here for our system we have named it as like the impact payroll system and description also you can give it here and copyright contact info rupee symbol and uh, email address address and uh, everything you can just update from the settings section and uh, in right side corner we will have the admin profile account settings and logout option if you click my profile it will go to that like uh, employee view but we are viewing for the admin profile so we will have the option like admin so if you want to change profile picture we can choose it from here and uh, save it so that the particular uh, photo will be updated if you want to change password we can give here the new password and confirm password and save it here And we can access the site settings through this uh, profile account settings also. So 
Yeah guys, so I hope I have covered everything from the admin panel perspective. So we have covered the organization and the department's designation. So under employees, we have covered all employees, disciplinary employee, elected employees. And attendance, we have seen how to generate the attendance and how to view total number of attendance for each employee and how to take the attendance report for a particular month for a particular employee. Those are we have seen. In leave section, we have seen holidays and leave types and how to apply for a leave and how to uh, assign the earned leave for each employee and how to generate the leave report. Those are we have seen. And in the project section, we have seen what are all the current projects that the current uh, that company has been working on and uh, what are the new projects which have been ongoing, uh, um, upcoming projects and those details and all we can see and uh, task list, so what are the task lists for each project uh, which we have been assigned for each employees and uh, field visit, so who are all the employees working in the offshore, onshore like that and we can see every information. So under loan section, we have seen loan approvals and loan installments. So how the loan approval has been working? Uh, once employee has been up, um, applied for loan, how the admin has been approving it, and how the loan installment has been deducting from the employee salary. So those details and all we have seen. And under assets, uh, how the um, office assets like uh, uh, computer peripherals and uh, travel support and. Uh, um, office daily road trip support and everything uh, we have seen how the admin can be able to keep track of those uh, assets and uh, and how keep track of that logistics support everything we have seen and covered it mm -hmm. so under the payroll section we have seen uh, how to generate how to generate the payslip for each employee's base support for each month salary uh, how many hours they have been working and uh, how to see the payslip report for each employee and how to see the payroll list number of uh, employees who have been paid for the particular month so everything we have seen and lastly we have seen uh, how the notice uh, how the notice code has been working so how that we can able to uh, post a new notice or announcement to the employees for our reporting the organization so those details are we have covered in it so this is the entire overview of the admin admin panel so we have covered the admin section now so next we can uh, go to the employee view and employee section so i'll just log in off now now we are going to the employee section and giving the employee details here email and the password So this is the employee dashboard. So the employee will able to see a number of upcoming projects. So currently whatever the project they have been working so it will be visible here and the number of upcoming projects they will be able to see. So this is the notice board I have already said. Once the admin has published the notice, the employees, all the employees working in that organization can able to see and download the file. And this to-do list is same like for admin. Um, each employees can add their own to-do list or based upon that uh, reporting manager service, they can add their to-do list and if, once it's completed, they can mark it as completed. Or if, if they want to add it newly, they can just go and add that uh, new task using this plus icon. And these and all will be same only, ongoing projects and holidays list, everything will be same like an admin page. We will have same here. And under my profile, the employee can able to see uh, his own personal information like a personal info, employee code and all, everything it will be displayed here. Here the admin will, uh, here the employee will have the limited option like uh, they can able to edit a certain options only like uh, bank account and address, personal info, these and all they can edit and uh, this uh, date of joining and uh, contact end date, this and all they can't edit. So few information, what are their uh, own without affecting the organization, they can able to edit it. And salary and all they can't edit, just they can uh, see only, only view option only available. And uh, social media and change password, these and all they can able to access. And if they want to change the password, they can use this. Uh, change password option here. They have to type their old password and give a new password. Twice to set it up here. 
and under leave they can able to access holidays so list of holidays that the organization is providing for them so they can see the list and leave application leave application is like if the employee want to avail any leave for emergency or any purpose they can just apply for the leave here so once the admin has been approved it uh, they will grant it that leave next is, is like a project so project is like a, another project the uh, employee can able to view what are the projects that are currently being the uh, worker in that particular organization. So whatever the projects, every project will be listed here and we can able to see here the status uh, currently running or completed and all we can see here and task list we can see uh, who, which are all the tasks uh, that have been currently assigned to that particular employee. So in that case here we will have the employee name to be known Kumar. So what, which are the tasks he has been assigned everything will be listed here like a project like under the project name Star City Township that has been a task like assessment, blueprint report and land acquisition documenting. So each uh, task uh, this employee was assigned so that it, it has been uh, listing his name under showing this dashboard. So like that for each employee who uh, assigned for any particular task, uh, they will have their own set of a uh, task list. So this is the employee section and uh, in right side corner you will have the my profile it's same like uh, here in left side corner we have the same option only shown here also and logout option we have the usual option also just logging out now Yes, we have covered uh, from top to bottom everything. Any queries or if you stuck at any place, you can just very well go and uh, ask your doubts in the comment section or you can reach it out our uh, mail ID or you can use our one to one chat supporting it on our Instagram page also. And uh, for this project, uh, there was a project report also available. So if you want to avail the project report, uh, you can uh, just subscribe our uh, page to the Instagram page. So I hope uh, you all liked this uh, PHP project and uh, if you liked it, uh, just keep subscribing and uh, give your thumbs up. Uh, so it will uh, mean a lot to us and our team will be able to know how much of you really like this project and uh, we can able to provide a lot of uh, new projects like this. So your each and each and every one support is very very crucial for our team to develop more uh, new and uh, more free resource projects for each every students out there um, so keep supporting students and um, who are uh, still needing this projects uh, you can keep them shared for uh, every family friends you can keep them shared and uh, so by sharing only we can be able to make our community big and uh, uh, we can uh, provide a lot of free resources to all the students uh, who can't afford a high high cost of project so we will meet up in the next new uh, different project. Uh, I hope to meet you all soon. Till then, uh, happy learning with this project. Until then, I'm signing off. Your genie. Bye, students. Take care.